I'm going to cover the Facebook privacy settings. These privacy settings can be very, very confusing and complicated for some people, so I wanted to make this video just as an informative video to go over the settings and hopefully show you what they mean and give you an idea of how to set them up for yourself so that you can control your own privacy. So the first thing that I want to show you is the privacy settings screen. Um, to get here, all you need to do is log into your Facebook page, click on this down arrow, and then click on privacy settings. Once here, we're going to select one of these three options here. My profile is currently set to public. So for this video tutorial, I'm going to make a fairly conservative um, Facebook profile privacy settings. So I'm going to select custom, but I could select friends. I'm going to select custom, and I'm going to have friends selected, and I'm going to uncheck friends of those tagged so that people that I'm not friends with can't see my profile. Save changes. Now our first option is how you connect. Um, click on edit settings and right now I have this set to everyone and I think that that's fine. I won't go into much detail in each of these settings but this basically means who can look you up using the email address that's associated with your Facebook account or your phone number that you provided if you provided a phone number and I'm gonna select everyone so that if I meet somebody or somebody wants to friend me on Facebook it's easy for them to at least send me a friend request well the next one is who can send me a friend request and I'm gonna keep that at everyone so that this person up here can send me a friend request who can send you a Facebook message I'm going to keep this on everyone so that somebody can send me a message um, they don't have to be connected with me to send me a message so once these are all done click done timeline and tagging edit settings so who can post on your timeline um, my only options are friends and no one and I want my friends to at least be able to post on my timeline so I'll select friends here who can see what others post on your timeline so I don't want everyone I don't want the public to be able to see my entire timeline and everything on it so I'm going to select this and I'm just going to select friends okay but I could select custom and if I did select custom I could select friends or specific people or lists and I could list a specific person or a list of people that my timeline is available to or I could hide my timeline from a specific friend or a specific list that I've created and I'll go over how to create a list in another video but for this purpose I'm just gonna select friends so my timeline is set to friends only Review posts friends tag you in before they appear in your timeline. Currently set to off. I'm going to change that from disable to enable so that if a friend tags me in a photo, I need to approve it before it shows up on my timeline. Who can see posts you've been tagged in on your timeline? So this is posts that you're tagged in specifically. And right now everyone can see photos that my friends have tagged me in. So I want to change that from everyone to just my friends. Just keep it friends. Review tags friends add to your own posts on Facebook. So this is currently set to off and I'm going to enable this. I'm going to enable this so that if a friend starts tagging my pictures that I uploaded to Facebook, I need to approve those tags before they go live. So click on back. Who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded? Friends. Um, friends is fine. This is basically photo recognition. So when a photo like you is uploaded, it will suggest adding a tag of you. Um, and so this, this applies to anybody, really, that takes a photo of you. When they upload it to Facebook, Facebook will automatically recognize you and suggest that they tag you in the photo. Friends is probably safe, but I'm just going to select nobody for this um, video tutorial. Ads, apps, and websites. Edit settings. Apps you use. I currently only use one app for this tutorial. So I'm going to click on edit settings. And you would do the same thing for all of your apps, but I only have one. So I'm going to click on edit. What you can control is who can see posts 
this app makes for you on your Facebook timeline. So this basically means do you want this app to be able to make posts to your timeline? And currently it's set on custom, which is yes, it can, and it's only visible to my friends, but you could change that to only me so that if this app posts to your Facebook profile page, um, only you can see it, and your friends don't get these posts in their news feeds. So I'm going to select only me, just so I don't bother other people with with uh, high scores and whatever that I might be doing with this app. Save changes. And notifications, when to notify you. Um, the app sends you a notification, um, and that notification will show up here, or you could select never, but this isn't that important. This doesn't really jeopardize our privacy at all. So I'm just going to keep this at this app sends you a notification. Click on close, and you would do this for all of your apps. Let's go back. Instant personalization. Let you see relevant information about your friends the moment you arrive on select partner websites. Edit settings. These websites listed here are considered partner websites. When you visit these sites, you'll see your friends' photos, your friends' names, and likewise, your friends will see your photo and your names when they visit these sites. It's supposed to make your visit to these sites more social, more friendly, um, and so essentially you can disable this instant personalization feature on these partner sites and not share your information with these sites and have it displayed to your friends. So I'm going to uncheck this box here, confirm, I'm really sure. and back to apps. Last, ads. Manage settings for third-party social ads. Edit settings. Ads shown by third parties. Now when they say third parties, they're being extremely general. They mean anybody that knows how to make a website and embed Facebook social plugins, which are these right here. And You can learn more about social plugins by either Googling it or going to Facebook and typing in social plugins. But essentially a social plugin will look something like this and it'll be on a website and when you visit a website or when your friends visit a website they'll see your photo listed below here and you know this could be any type of website um, it could be a website that you might not want your photo associated with so let's just assume that you just don't want to share your photo and your name with um, third-party websites that you're not aware of so let's just let's just click edit third-party ad settings and let's just click no one save changes. Now our second option is ads and friends. Now these are ads on Facebook. So let's click edit social ad settings. And these are the, these are the ads on Facebook when say you're at your um, your home page and you look to your right and you see a bunch of ads on the right hand column and you'll see you'll see an ad and then you'll see John Doe likes sushi. If you don't want your name to be associated with those ads, this is how you disable that. You just click on no one. Save changes. Cool. All right, moving forward. Limit the audience for past posts. Manage post visibility. So it'll give you a little warning box here. And basically what they're saying here is when you click on limit old posts, it will change all of your past posts on your timeline um, to friends from public so because my profile was public before and I have about a million posts that I made on my timeline all I need to do is click limit old posts and it will convert all of those public posts to friends only which is what I want for this tutorial so I'll click limit old posts it'll give you a warning message are you sure and I'll click on confirm All right, cool. Blocked people and apps. So manage the people and apps that you blocked. So let's click on manage blocking. And here we can get into blocking somebody. So you can enter a name of somebody to block, or you can enter an email and just click block, and you can block those people. You can block app invites, which is, uh, you know, if people are sending you invites saying, hey, play Farmville with me, you can block those right here and you type the name of the friend. Block events. Um, this is huge. I'm going to make a video that's only talking about this, but 
I know a lot of people get events from the same people, let's say, every week, and they're just like, hey, listen, I don't even live in the same country as you or the same state, and I can't go to any of these um, events that you're promoting, so I just, I don't, I don't, I want to be friends with you, but I don't want to receive all of these um, event invites, so I'm going to type in their name, and I'm going to block receiving invites from that person. Block apps. Um, once you block an app, it can no longer contact you or get public information about you through Facebook. So if you want to block an app, you can do that here. Um, there's no apps that I need to block right now, so I'm going to go back to privacy. So that's it. Those are the privacy settings for Facebook. I hope this video was at least informative and you were able to maybe even learn something, uh, especially with the ads, apps, and websites. It's always interesting to see how they use your information and share it across third-party websites. But that's it. So good luck and leave a comment. Thanks.